Okay, so exercise 54, page 103, question number 4. But this time it's an inviscid equation. X is not in the power this time, but as part of the equation we have a power. So again we use logarithms, but this time the base is X, which makes a difference. So what we do, again, take logarithms of both sides. And because we've taken logarithm, the 1.5 can come down and become a multiply. So 1.5 log x equals log 14.91. So log x, to get that, divide both sides by 1.5, and that's the log of 14.91 divided by 1.5. So then log x equals whatever that is. Log 14.91 divided by 1.5 on the calculator comes to around about 0.7823. Confirm that on your calculator. But now, remember the issue that we had in the previous question about holding accuracy when we're talking about powers here. So I would leave that answer in the calculator for the next step. Now, we have that the log of x is 0 0.783. But remember that the power of x, the base is 10. And the logarithm to the base 10 of x equals 0 0.783. What does this mean? It means that um, x is the power to which 10 has to be erased to get 0 0.783. So 10 to the power 0.7823 will give us x. So the logarithm of x is 0.783. That means 10 to the power 0.7823 gives us x. So if you've held that answer to the previous question in your calculator, then all you need to do is press 10 to the power answer and then you'll get x. So if you work that out, we get x equal to uh, the answer in the textbook, 6.058 to three significant figures. Sorry, four significant figures. Okay, so um, again, it's a question of using logarithms to get the power 1.5 down becomes a multiplier and then we can find out that the log what the logarithm of x is it's 0.7823 and then once we've done that remember what logarithms mean so to get what x is we need to know what 10 to the power 0.7823 is and that gives us x Okay, how about trying this next little question then, which is very similar, and seeing if you can work that out. <coughs> so what about x to the power 3.6 equals 12.4? Work that out using the rules of logarithms, and check the answers correct by putting it back into the original equation. Whatever you find x to be, that raised to the power 3.6 should get you back to the 12.4 again. So I won't put the solution in, you can just work that out yourself.